Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be filming the update to our Nexar review. Shortly after I posted my first video, the Nexar team reached out to me via email and scheduled a Zoom call. We're addressing now all the issues that, that, uh, that, we, that we see uh, in order to make sure that the, the next experience that our users are going to have would be better than what they experienced so far. Basically on the Zoom call, I met with their like VP of product development and some other manager. And we discussed all the issues that were on the video and they said they were gonna fix them all. Um, they basically said there was a lot of issues with the remote connectivity and I believe nobody has to pay anymore for the remote connectivity until they fix the issues. So uh, I'm not sure if they extended that to everyone or just me. I guess you could let me know in the comments. So it's been about two months since we had our Zoom call. I feel like that's plenty of time for them to fix all the issues that they said they were gonna to fix. Today we're gonna to test the basic functionality of the Nexar to see if all the glitches have been fixed. We're gonna test remote connectivity and we're gonna test how easy it is to download clips and share them. In the past, I had issues downloading clips directly to my phone and sharing them via text. The only way you could share them was the cloud share where you share a link and that's really not that good of a way to share clips because there's no way to actually save it onto a device. I don't know, whatever, that should be enough. I could probably chop that up to make it something cool. All right, we just got in the car. This is the first try. We're not gonna edit anything out. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We're gonna start up the car and see how the Nexar boots up. <laughs> All right, we're going to open the app and see if it starts streaming. Oh. Just make sure it's in focus. It still says we're parked, so it hasn't loaded yet. All right, it's streaming now. All right, so the streamings work. Interior and road view. All right, we're gonna drive and when we get to where we're going, we'll test the remote connectivity and we'll also test downloading a clip from the drive. We're going to be testing the remote connectability. The car is parked all the way down there. And we're going to see if we can log in and view the stream. I was going to say, like, half their cast is dead. <laughs> Let's see. No, I didn't get the letter yet. Why? trying to connect. It knows where we are. I guess that's good. That was weird. Let's try it again. Alright, trying this again because I got interrupted by a phone call. So it opens, but then it says, can't play video. Train's coming past, hold on. It opens, but then it says, can't play video, connect to a network to continue this video. Hmm. All right, well, I guess as expected, that doesn't work. All right, we're gonna try and get a clip. Let's see. to right here. There we go. All right, so we'll try and get a clip from here.
I don't know why it's saying this clip is zero seconds. Uh, there we go. Now it's working. So we'll do a 15 second clip. Saving it. I guess the clips are uploading. Although it's not really going. All right, well, I'm gonna drive to the next store and we'll see if this clip uploads by the time we get to the next store. All right, checking back in. Um, these clips still haven't uploaded. I don't even know what these clips are, these two that are uploading, I didn't make them. But this 15 second clip still hasn't uh, uploaded from like an hour ago. It's been stuck at eight minutes for a while. All right, check back in later. All right, it's still uploading. I mean, I guess we'll see if it goes all the way this time. The time estimate is clearly nowhere near right because it's saying three hours and 40 minutes, but it's dropping really fast. I guess we'll stay here and see what happens. All right, so here you can see it took about a little over a minute for those clips to update to the cloud. So we were finally able to share this 15 second clip. And keep in mind, this is after a few hours because before I got home and connected to the Wi-Fi with my phone, it wasn't uploading. It wasn't uploading the clips at all. So I went into WhatsApp and it actually sent it, which is a surprise because this didn't work at all before the last. I think it was the last update that this got fixed. So this is great because now you can actually send the file through WhatsApp. That person could download it and or you could just send it to yourself through whatsapp you could download it to your phone and then be able to share it on social media or whatever you want to share your clip send it to your insurance company or whatever there we go uh, pretty decent clip i mean it's pretty clear We're back in the studio i'm just editing this video from today testing the nexar again and I mean, I guess it's a big improvement over the last time I tested it. It's still a little glitchy. The app still has its problems. I mean, that one time when I was trying to upload the clips, it just took forever. It took like a couple hours when it probably should only take a few minutes. But I was actually able to take a 15 second clip and share it to WhatsApp, which I couldn't do before. It was giving a problem. Obviously, the remote connectivity still doesn't work, but... I mean, I guess you can't be that mad at them considering they're not charging for it right now, but I mean, eventually they have to fix it. The only reason a lot of us bought this was because of the remote connectivity. Um, I haven't been getting parking notifications, but you can't go in and view them. So it's kind of kind of useless. Um, besides that, I mean, I still wouldn't buy it if you already don't have it. I guess if you have it, you might as well hold on to it and hopefully they'll come up with the update soon that'll make the remote connectivity work. But besides that, I haven't had any freezing lately. Uh, before the last few updates, sometimes the Nexar would just freeze and would stop recording. That hasn't happened lately. The automatic updates work really well for me. I'll just get in the car, start it, and it'll say updating. Uh, it gives an audible tone out of the Nexar and tells you that it's doing it. 
and they work pretty quick. Um, besides that, I mean, it's still disappointing. Obviously the streaming is the most important part of it. Also one of the big negative aspects of the Nexar, the battery dies really quick. And I would say after maybe a half hour sometimes, it doesn't even let your remote connect to it anymore. It'll say low battery mode. So I don't know if they're gonna come out with an OBD connection eventually because uh, I mean, a half hour or so, it doesn't really work. You really need access to your cars, dash cam, whatever. Um, the owl cam that I use, that I still use when, when it's hooked up through the OBD, it usually lasts for about five, I think it's like five days and then it turns itself off so it doesn't drain your car battery. And I've never had a problem with it draining my car battery like that. So I really think the Nexar needs to release an OBD connection because the battery on it just does not last long. And like I said, you'll try and do a remote connect to it maybe 45 minutes after you parked your car and it already says un unable to connect because uh, the battery is low. I think that's really it. I mean, honestly, I still wouldn't buy it if you haven't bought it yet. It's just not really where it should be. You really can't be selling a $300 plus dollar camera that doesn't have full functionality. But if you do have it, I guess it's worth hanging on to it. And hopefully, maybe in the near future, maybe by the one year anniversary of when they were originally supposed to sell it, everything might work. I guess we'll check back in maybe in a couple months and see if any of the other issues have been fixed.